Hello students, welcome back. This is your math teacher Shweta Vijaj. I hope you all are doing well. I'm here again with chapter number one, knowing our numbers. But before starting, firstly, please like and subscribe my channel so that you get the video notifications on time. And while commenting, please don't forget to mention your class in section. And the PDF of the chapter is available in the home tutorial in the green box at jmps.org. Dot in. Before starting, I request all of you to make the notes on these topics. If possible, please make one thick fair register. Do your home homework regularly as it will be checked and marks are allotted for it. Now, in the previous video, we discussed the topic large numbers in practice. I hope you understood and did the questions related to it. So today, in part 7, firstly, we will take some questions. After that, we will move on to our next topic. So let us start with some problems. Now, I have taken exercise 1c, question number 1, first part. And the question asks, what comes before 59 lakh? Now, they are asking what comes before. So in this case, it is like a predecessor. That means they are asking before. Before means pehle. So that means here we will find out uh, the predecessor of the given number. So it is given 59 lakh. So from this we will subtract 1. On subtracting 1 what we will have? We will have 58 lakhs 99,999. I hope it is clear. Now see the next part. In this part, they are asking what comes after 48,75,789. So in case of after, it is like a successor. That means you have to add 1 to the given number. So please add 1 to the given number. So on adding 1 to the given number, what you will have? 48,75,790. I hope it is clear to you. Let's move on to our next question. Now see the next question. In the next question they are asking in a glass factory. Next question I have taken question number 7 of same exercise. So, uh, so they are asking in a glass factory 2,67,000 glasses are manufactured every month. What is the total production for, uh, for 5 months? So see every month means in 1 month. So production in 1 month is how much? It is 2,67,000. So like a value of one is given to you and if you want to find the value of many you used to you used to multiply so here the production of one month is given to you you want to find out the production of many months like you want to find out the production of five months so you will multiply both of them two lakh sixty seven thousand multiply by five quickly multiply them so on multiplying what you will have you will have 13 lakh 35 thousand how you multiplied it zero fives are zero zero fives are zero zero fives are zero seven fives are 35 we will write five here and three will be carried now six fives are 30 to that 30 we will add this three then it will become 33 here we will write three and three will be uh, carried now two fives are 10 and 10 plus 3, 13. Therefore, total production for 5 months is 13,35,000. I hope it is clear to you. Now, let's move on to our next question. So, the next question which I have taken is... Question number 8. See, what's the question is saying? Question says that the milkman has 27 liter of milk in his can. He fills milk 
from his scan into bottles of 24 milliliter each how many bottles can he fill how much milk is left in the can now first of all students see the unit of the milk in can is given in liters and the unit of the uh, bottle is given in milliliters so our first step is to make the units same it is given in liters and it is given in milliliters now see i know that 1 liter is equals to 1000 milliliter so capacity of milk in can is given to be 27 liters so we will convert this 27 liters firstly into milliliters how we can multiply by multiplying it by 1000 on multiplying it by 1000 we will have 27000 milliliter now see the capacity of one bottle is given to be 24 milliliter and we want to find out the number of bottles that can be filled with this can okay so how how we can find that we will use we will use division the process of division we will divide both of them now quickly divide them now how i have divided them please observe 24 ones are 24 now 7 minus 4 will gives me 3 0 will be carried down again i can take 24 ones are 24 now 30 minus 24 will gives me 6 okay again 0 will be carried on carrying this 0 we will have 60 here now 24 twos are 48 Sixty minus forty-eight will gives me twelve. Again, carry the zero. On carrying the zero, we will have one twenty. Now twenty-four fives are. It is one twenty. And one twenty minus one twenty will gives us zero. Will gives us zero as a remainder. Now they are asking how much milk is left in the can. So since the remainder is zero so that means milk left in can is equals to 0 ml or 0 liter that means nothing is left in the can i hope you understood now let us begin with our next topic the next topic which i have taken is that is estimation or estimating numbers to estimate means to find an approximate answer to estimate we can round off the numbers to the nearest tens nearest hundreds or nearest thousands place now firstly we have taken rounding off to the nearest ten now in this if the one digit of a number is less than 5 that is if it is 0 1 2 3 or 4 we can replace it by 0 and if the digit in the ones place is 5 6 7 8 or 9 we replace it by 0 and increase the digit in the tens place by 1 see example it is written 2562 now see the digit at the ones place digit at the ones place is 2 which is less than 5 so what we will do we will replace this by 0 and therefore the approximate number of this is 2560 i hope it is clear to you now see one more example now we have taken 4576 in this see the digit at the 
units place or the ones place here the 6 is greater than 5 okay so we will replace this digit by 0 and add 1 to the digit at the tens place so this uh, ones digit will become 0 and this 7 plus 1 will become 8 0 and 8 and remaining digits will be written as it is so answer is 4580. I hope it is clear to you. Let's see the next one. Rounding off to the nearest hundred. In this, if the digit in tens place is 0, 1, 2, 3 or 4. We replace the digits in the tens and ones places by zero. If the digits in the tens place is five, six, seven, eight, or nine, we replace the digits in the tens and ones place by zeros, and we also increase the digit in hundreds place by one. See an example. Firstly, I have taken 241. See the digit in tens place. It is less than 5. That is 4. So, this means we will replace the digit at the ones place and the digit at the tens place by 0. So, it will become 2. 100. Round off of 241 to the nearest 100 is 200. See another example. 4367. See the digit at the tens place. It is greater than 5. So what we will do? We will replace the digit at the ones place by 0 and the digit at the tens place by 0 and add 1 to the Digit at the hundreds place. On adding 1, 2, 3, we will have 4. So, the approximate number is 4400. See one more example I have taken. That is 63951. See the digit at the tens place. It is 5. Yes, when, uh, yes, it is 5. So, what I told you, when it is 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9, replace the digit at 1's place by 0, 10's place by 0 and add 1 to the digit at 100's place. On adding, now on adding 1 to 9, what we will have? 10. So, here we will write 10. Uh, 0 of 10 and add 1 to this. So it will become 64,000. I hope it is clear to you. Now next is rounding off to the nearest thousands. It says that if the digit in the hundreds place is 0, 1, 2, 3 or 4. We replace the digits in the hundreds, tens and ones places by zeros. If the digit in the hundreds place is 5, 6, 7, 8 or 9. We replace the digits in the hundreds, tens and ones place by zeros. We also increase the digit in the thousands place by 1. We have taken one example and that is 4,231. Now see the digit at the hundreds place. Hundreds place the digit is 2 which is less than 5. So we will put 0, 0 and 0 here. So the round off of this number is 4,000. Now let us take one more example and the example says that 18,935. Now see the digit at the hundreds place. The digit at the hundreds place is 9. So with this digit is greater than 5. 
so what we will do we will put zero at the tens place zero at sorry ones place zero at the tens place zero at the hundreds place and we will add one to the thousands place on adding one to this eight it will become nine and my final answer will become nineteen thousand now students after this i have taken one question of exercise 1d question number 1 it says that round off to the nearest thousands place and add it is written round off to the nearest and add so this means first of all you people round off these given numbers to the nearest thousands place after that you will do the addition now see the hundred digit here it is 4 now when it will be 4 that means less than 5 so you will put 0 0 0 at the ones tens and hundreds place so on putting this it will become 23000 means round off is 23 Thousand. Similarly, round off of forty-five thousand ninety-five. See this digit. This is less than five. So what you will do? You will put zero 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 at the ones, tens, and hundreds place, and the round off of this number will be nothing but forty-five thousand. Now find out their sum. How to find out? You have to add them. So zero plus zero zero. Zero plus zero zero. Zero plus zero zero, three plus five eight, two plus four six. So like this, you will solve your question number one of exercise one D. Hopefully, it is clear to all. Now, after understanding some questions of exercise one C and how to estimate. i think you will be able to solve the questions given in home task the, and the questions are attached in the description in pdf form i hope you like the video and for any queries or doubts you can leave the message in comment section thank you